grinding teeth as an adult is a pathologic process. We call it um, nocturnal bruxism. You may have heard it uh, listed as that. And grinding your teeth as an adult is something that you want to talk to your dentist about so that you can uh, protect the enamel and you don't get too much attrition of the enamel. However, children, um, there are differing statistics, but anywhere from 50 to 80 percent of children are in varying on, uh, depending on which study you, you uh, look at, grind their teeth at night. Um, and so it's a very common, it's a ubiquitous habit. Um, there are some uh, suggestions that it might be part of the natural biological process of the hardening of the bone or the growth of the bone. Uh, we do know that in um, adults that are chronic bruxers, they tend to have very dense bone and um, uh, biological plausibility, which is not the highest level of evidence, um, would suggest that grinding of teeth in children may be a process by which the bone, um, which is very soft in children, uh, mineralizes and, and hardens. So a very natural process. What do you do about it? Um, you get a really heavy door and a really long hall between where your child sleeps and where you sleep. Uh, in all seriousness, you don't. Uh, there's nothing you do about it. You cannot. Uh, uh, night guards are not appropriate because uh, generally this happens uh, when children are growing, and so they're going to grow out of it. Their teeth are going to go into mixed dentition, meaning partly baby teeth and partly permanent teeth. And the, the arches, the dental arches, are changing constantly. Um, it's not appropriate to use the small, the soft ones because they can grind right through them, which is not entirely safe. And, and frankly, they won't keep it in their mouth. I'll spit it out anyway. You would need something to snap into position, which is not um, appropriate for children that age. So, um, not to worry. Uh, bruxing or grinding your teeth at night is entirely normal.